All right, we will get started in two minutes. Hope everyone has had a great day today. We will begin in about two minutes, maybe a little under. All right, let's check the website. Website looks good. Let's check FB. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's do a sound check. check, check testing, check, testing. Check. Whoa, all right. Hang on. Doo -doo -doo. We will begin our week nine motivations in about one minute. All right, let's check Facebook again. Oh, I got two viewers already. All right. Hello, Facebookers. Give me just a moment, we will get started. All right, people are starting to log in now. So thank you so much for joining. So Murray. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome, mouth pagers. Happy Tuesday, Yam Shli Shi. Hope everyone has had a great day and a great week so far. I am Rabbi Yak, located outside of San Francisco. Yay! Wonderful day today, beautiful weather. It was great, no rain. Yay! So, Mouthpage is an online spiritual community, and we are an online Jewish synagogue. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our live. Week 9 Motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And Friday is our Shabbat service live at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please check out our services either on Facebook or on our website at www.mouthpage.com. For those of you who are new to our community, our Week 9 Motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. They usually last about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less. Sometimes a little more. So we have been going live now for 18 weeks. 18 weeks. Wow. I still remember we started in December. Man, I can't believe it's already April. So we are now over 8,000. 8,000 diehard mouth pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. Yay. Self high five. All clap. Yay. That's awesome. All right, so I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. So please tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone. Let's get our community over 9,000. Please continue to help us grow the Mouthpage community worldwide. The more people we can connect with, the more people we can help grow spiritually. All right, so let's go ahead and kick off with a little Psalm 156. Oh, hallelujah. Let all that breathes praise God. Hallelujah. So if you happen to miss any of our services, we have our archive videos on Facebook, on our website, www.mouthpage.com, and our archives. Check it out. And on our YouTube channel. Mouthpage Spiritual Community. So last night we did the Yom HaShoah Project, the Holocaust Remembrance, and we talked about Never Again. So I hope you enjoyed this week that motivation last night. So tonight's motivation is trust. Trust. So this is a very, very powerful word. You know, very similar to like the word love, best friends, you know, wife, 
family members, you know, there's just certain words, you know, diamonds, you know, diamonds are a woman's best friend, right? Dog is a man's best friend. Powerful word, trust. Trust is a very, very powerful word. Who do you trust? Do you trust your parents? Do you trust your spouse? Do you trust your friends? Do you trust your family members, your buddies, your co-workers, your, your pets, your cats, your dogs, your lions if you can have one, your monkeys, right? Who do you trust? Who do you trust? Let me ask you in a different way. Who would you trust with your life? Who would you trust with your life? I hear lots and lots of people always say, oh, he or she has trust issues because of previous relationships. Okay, I, I can see those problems, right? Jews after the Holocaust having trust issues, right? Lots of people having trust issues after that. They weren't like, after the war was over, they weren't like high-fiving everybody. They were like, scared to death, not trusting too many people at that point. So who do you trust? So I hear a lot of people talk about, you know, when you mention the word God, people always say all these things about God. Well, God let me, you know, let me down or God took my family member due to cancer or God did this or God did that. So I'm going to flip it here. Does God trust you? Does God trust you? And I mean me too. Does God trust me? Does God trust you? Does God trust us? That's a good word, right? Does God trust us? We're so easy to look at other people and trust other people. I see so many people always want God's help. I always want God's help. And we always blame God, right? I wouldn't say we always, but I know I've blamed God a lot of times. I know I've lost my trust in God years ago. I got it back because of God. But does God trust us? If God gave us a gift, handed it to us and said, whatever you do, don't betray my trust, would we be trustworthy for God? Would we be trustworthy enough? Okay, so let's check this out. What gifts could you think of? And I'll give you my take on it. What gifts do you think of that God might have given you or given us? How about life? Is that a gift? Hmm. Some of us blame him when someone dies. Does God give us second chances, third chances? But then some blame him for not giving a fourth or fifth. Hmm. Love. God give us love. But then does some blame God when the relationship goes sour? Jobs. We ask God for a job. God gives us a job. Some of us might lose our job. Then we blame God for losing the job. Illnesses. We're healthy all the way till we're 80, and then we blame God, right? Does some of us blame God when we're sick? The Ten Commandments. God's given us the Ten Commandments. And what do we do with those Ten Commandments? God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses and says, Here, give this to the people. This is in the book of Exodus, chapter 20. Here you go. Here's my rules. Here's my laws. How many of us have violated those? I'm raising my hand because I know I have. I know I have. Trust. Does God trust us? Does God trust us? It's easy for me to sit back and, and point fingers and say, Oh, I blame God for this. I blame God for that. You think God doesn't sit back and say, I blame Rabbi Yak for this. I blame Yak for that. I blame Yak for that. Same thing, right? Trustworthy. It's easy for someone to be a spectator and go, hmm, hmm, 
hmm, just like I watch athletes all the time and I read the blogs and they're always blaming the athletes for losing the game. We're not out there playing. I'm no pro athlete. So why am I judging what they did? I'm not out there. God judges us too. God watches us too. Is Are we trustworthy for God? That's a big deal. I feel like I work really, really hard and I still mess up, but I feel like I am trustworthy for God. But I, I have a lot of work to do. Still have a lot of work to do. I have a lot of work to do on my own. That's me. It's me saying that I have a lot of work to do to earn God's trust. It's not easy because it's easy for evil to get in and convince you and, and tempt you. And that's where trust comes in. Trust is a big deal. We do it with our friends and our family member all the time. We trust them with secrets. You know, oh, don't tell somebody something. We trust people with our car keys, our money, our financial advisor. We trust them with our money. We trust people with our food when we go to a restaurant that they're not going to do anything to it, that they're going to wash their hands and make it sure that they're not going to get you sick. We trust. Trust is a big deal. Same thing. Trust works both ways. God has to trust us too. We have to show God that we are worthy. I mention that because really coincides with last night, with the Holocaust. I hear so many people that I know, older people, that were there. And my, like I said, my grandpa last night, well, not last night, but my grandpa, I said this last night, but my grandpa who was there, he was a soldier. I've heard so many people's kids of the Holocaust survivors that say, this, that, or the other about God, and some positive and some negative. But same thing. Trust. It works both ways. Now, of course, God's almighty, and God's like the CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, and yeah, he's the boss. But trust still wants to find the right people for his, for his company. Trust is a big deal. I just want to throw that word out there, especially because I see, you know, I've watched, I don't know how many times I've watched the movie Schindler's List. What, 10? <laughs> I've seen it over and over and over. You know, the movie, The Ten Commandments. I don't know how many times I've seen that. Same thing. I've seen so many areas there about trust, trusting your friend next to you, trusting Moses, right? How many people put trust in each other? And then we, we blame God every time something goes wrong. Now, I'm not saying we all blame God, but there are some people who do blame God. Well, trust works both ways. God trusts us to do the right thing. We trust God to do the right thing. Trust. All right, word of the day. Bet you'll never guess what that word is. Trust. Trust, right? Whew, you would have never guessed if I wouldn't have told you. Trust. T. Time to start showing God we are worth it. R. Remember, we have to earn God's trust too. U. Under no circumstances give up on God. Because God's not going to give up on us. S. Say thank you to God often. T. Trust is a two-way street. All right, so before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. So I'd like to pray for Stan, Bruce, Rabbi Marvin Perlman, Bill, Catherine Wren, Stephanie, and her family, Vicki, Kenny, Ceci, Mike, Kenya, and Jasmine for healing. Also for Rabbi Paul Walker, who is undergoing cancer treatment. And happy birthday to Rudy and Donnie. So I'd like to end tonight with numbers 623 through 27. I will do it in Hebrew first. 
Yevarecha Adonai v'yishamrecha, Yair Adonai p'nav v'elecha v'kunecha, Yisa Adonai p'nav v'elecha v'yisem, Lecha Shalom. Amen. In English, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. Amen. I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. Please check us out on Facebook or our website, www.mouthpage.com or on our YouTube channel. Every Monday through Thursday, we do our weeknight motivations at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And on Friday is our Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please check out our services on our website, our Facebook, on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to send us prayer requests, email, you can contact at mouthpage.com, Rabbi Yak, or, yeah, Rabbi Yak at mouthpage.com. Don't even know my email address. You can go on our Facebook page and, and send us as well. Mouthpage is a non-profit organization, so please feel free to donate whatever you can. And check out our website for all the services that we provide. I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. God bless, Lila Toe, and have a happy week. I love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Amen. I'm looking at the screen and I see this delay. So I'm stopping and I'm looking at my picture or the screen and I'm still yakking. I'm like, how's that possible? Uh, some things shimmer you, right? <laughs>